Here we go again against Yardbird, Eric Lobron. Current score in our match is minus three for me. 12 wins, 15 losses, five draws. Check. 32 games total. Okay, we have a Queen's Indian, an opening that I, to be honest, absolutely don't know. <laughs> I normally play the Nimzo with white and not the, not this. So I'm kind of making things up here as we go along. I'd like to study this with white a little bit. Don't want to play the Nimzo all of the time. And um, yeah, this looks kind of normal. Black has the bishop pair for um, but a slightly cramped structure. I'm getting in e4 very likely. He can play d5, but I don't know how good this hanging pawns. Um, yeah, this is not a good hanging pawn structure in my book. But we, we're going to see what happens. Ah, yeah, maybe knight a6. Hmm, that is true, actually. That's true. Hmm, okay, yeah, that's, I did not really think about this so much. Knight g4 maybe, bishop e7, or e4. Now e4 is right, right? Bishop takes. Yeah, e4 must be right. Exploiting my, trying to exploit my better development in this position. And his offside knight and weak c6 square, maybe. Bishop takes e5 um, is maybe the critical continuation not sure bishop e5 d e5 d4 maybe oh yeah knight b5 then knight b5 c5 knight d6 oh, that's interesting we get we'll get an interesting position as usual rook e8 is that a move Hmm, maybe I have f4. Maybe I have f4 then. Hmm. Not so easy this position for black. Yeah, taking. Hmm. Yeah, knight takes is threatening knight f6. Hmm. If I take now, queen takes knight d7 wins the exchange. Check. So. I'm going to take, that's a really big fork. Where do I take? Um, here, oh wait, I can take on, on B7 actually. This is maybe the, the best way as the knight is hanging. Um, queen F, nah, let's take here first, that's, that's best. And how do I really, how do I actually um, play this in the most forceful way? It looks, he's kind of uncoordinated. Ah yeah, here, this one, this is good. Double attacking, the knight and h7. If I get to h7, this is going to be really strong. His king is not getting any... Black resigns. Yeah, yeah, his king is not getting any, any safe square. So this was a nice, nice win out of the opening. Not due to knowledge, but somehow, I mean, sometimes you just know something better, but somehow I think d5 is, I don't know about this move. It looks, it, this looks tricky to me. It looks tricky to play. Huh. But I don't know, I don't know where, the, where the mistake was, actually. Here he certainly can play um, something like c6 or maybe rook e8 or this kind of thing. Knight a6, so I went e4, and here he has to play differently. Yeah, okay, the computer actually says that this is good for black. Huh, that is, that is surprising me, really. Why is it good for black? I was thinking about this move. Oh, hmm. Now, now, simply, I did not 
considered is black has d3 here i did not think about this move at all and probably he also didn't this is just just very strong the the pawn here can be supported by the knight and now the knight on b5 doesn't have any useful yeah useful square you know i mean i was only thinking about this after which i am happily going here it's not a clear position here that you know, i mean i have a four and he might have f6 and so on it's very complicated but this is all mood this is just very strong yeah now i can never the, the knight has no point it has to go back and in this situation i even have trouble keeping this here for example if i play f4 here just to to illustrate he might uh, play something like that and this is not even possible Check. So that was the point. Hmm. He is e4 is not really great, and the thing is probably if he is not doing that, he will be in some kind of trouble. I think after that, it's already a bit awkward because hmm, what are you doing now? I'm threatening knight f6, bishop b7. There is no convenient way to to play that. The comp wants to take, which is okay, quite nice for white. It's not the end of the world. Rook b8 is still playable. Okay, this is probably not playable. Check. And now I played, I think, I hope, in the most precise way. First taking here is good because the, the knight is hanging. He cannot do this. This is a piece down. So this was the only move. Takes. Yeah, and now queen takes or king takes. After king takes, queen d3 is the decisive factor i was looking for a moment because in this position it's not that it's just an it's it's an exchange of course but this is unprotected this is unprotected and this is unprotected and this is the key point this double attack on two of the unprotected um, units let's say wins this pawn and now rookie one queen h8 is the big issue black has no he has nothing he's, he's got the exchange down and white has this kind of mating attack yeah that was a nice win yeah but a bit bit, bit loose a bit um loose a uh, bit lucky because I, I we both did not see correctly that black can take and play d4 yeah can i do something else by the way he still can play if i go here let's say i can still play that yeah that's kind of oops kind of funny yeah? and this is also on now, I totally did not see that the pawn can advance further. Okay, thanks for watching.